it's Courtney. Um, I hope y'all are having a wonderful Wednesday. I hope whatever you're doing that uh, you're enjoying yourself, spending it with somebody that you love, whatever, just uh, having a great day. Um, so yesterday I wanted to film that video that I've been promising, um, Gab the dangers of gabapentin, but I started getting into it and writing down all the points that I wanted to write down and all that, and then I went and watched, um, a video, uh, not Dr. Oz, the doctors or something, I don't know, but I started listening to that video and I realized just how much I wanted to write down and how many points I wanted to make about it, um, because there's a lot of stuff out there about gabapentin now, um, now that they have had it on the market for a while, um, they're learning a lot of things, so, um, Rather than being all willy-nilly, like most of my videos, like every video, um, I actually wanted to, like, do a sit-down, point-by-point, um, kind of like my, uh, rhesus virus, virus, rhesus factor video, um, because I want things to be clear and understandable and make my my points clear and uh, not be all over the place because um, in a video like that that's kind of unacceptable I know that with my character or not character my um, personality I am very um, all over the place you can't get a full story out of me you, you know what I mean like you got you guys know um, what I mean so I don't I don't want that for that video I want everyone to know the dangers there are good things about it too of course but i want everybody to know the dangers so that they can be aware because doctors don't tell you they act like it's a miracle drug and it is not anyways i don't want to talk about that anymore in this video but um the second reason why i didn't upload it yesterday was because i woke up with yucky eyes again like I don't know what it is. I'm using something. It's something new because it's only started happening within the last like two or three months. And only maybe like once, once a week, once every two weeks. So I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, I got to figure it out though, because it makes my eyes real red and irritated. And then like, I constantly have, I don't want to call it pus, but that's what it looks like. Ugh. It's like yellow stuff, like the, the moisture in my eye instead of being like normal saline type. It's like yellow gooey stuff. And it, that'll happen for the day after I wear whatever it is. And then by today, the next day, um, my eyes are still a little bit red in the corners and stuff. But they're not like they were um, yesterday. They were really gross looking yesterday. And I kept having to like clean out my corners and stuff. But anyways, not, that's a little bit TMI, but anyways, uh, oh, so listen, I filmed this once already, but I had to stop it, oh, he's wrong backwards, but I had to stop it because, um, like, I have my camera pointing towards me, like, um, not in the selfie, it's pointed outwards, damn it, couldn't say it, it's pointed outwards, and I can't really see what I'm filming, so what I'm doing is I'm standing in front of my bathroom mirror, and I'm looking into this camera, but I kind of can see that I'm making sure I'm staying in the frame with my mirror back there. Um, and I caught a glimpse of myself, and I realized I didn't have earrings in. And my face turned bright red, I'm sure. I don't know how to get that. Well, I deleted it. But um, probably if I would have uploaded that, y'all would have seen my face turn bright red because... It felt like I, like, you know how you feel when you're naked or something? Like, I felt literally naked. Like, I felt like my boob fell out or something. And I was exposed. Like, it, I don't know why, but apparently, like, earrings are an important thing to me. <laughs> like, if we're leaving the house and I realize I don't have earrings in, um, I will run back in the house and unlock the door and come back in the house and get a pair of earrings. Or... Um, usually what I do, sometimes this doesn't work out because sometimes I'll lose one, but usually I keep a pair of silver hoops in my purse just for, for that. Like if we're going somewhere, I forget to put my earrings in. I don't know why they're so important to me, but I don't know. I just, I love my earrings. Um, so anyways, uh, I stopped that one because I was naked. <laughs> uh, 
And then another reason, or, so with that, um, I decided that I didn't want to film yesterday because I didn't want to put on any makeup, obviously. And I wasn't going to put, and I was going to make this video today specifically because I was like, well, I'll make this video because I won't have to, the camera won't have to see me. Like, I can just point outwards and see the art. Because with my camera, it, it, once you are filming one way or the other, that's it. Like, you're stuck there. Um, unless you want to stop the video. It's not one of those cameras that you can flip back and forth. You either have to do selfie or outward. And you're stuck that way until you stop it. So, I figured I'd do this art video today so that I didn't really have to put on makeup or anything. But y'all know me. My extras hell ass had to still uh, find any reason I could to put on some lip gloss and some mascara. Oh, and a little bit of eyeliner. So, it was completely pointless to say I don't want to wear makeup today because obviously lip gloss, eyeliner, and mascara is, is, is still makeup. <laughs> I couldn't even do it for one day. But anyways, um, so yeah, um, I'm going to show you guys all my art in my house. Um, I real I just realized earlier because I took a few off the wall because it's dark in my hallway and you wouldn't be able to see them. Um, but I realized that a lot of my dads, uh, apparently we took down and, uh, put in what, some of them in the shed and some of them are in my closet. So I'm going to show you all the art that's on my walls today. And then in another video, I'll specifically take all the ones out of, um, the shed and the closet to show you just my dad's Bob Ross. I have a few of them, but, um. I don't have a ton of them like I thought I did. Um, well, I have them, but they're packed away. So anyways, um, there's going to be a lot of stopping and starting in this video. I apologize. But if I didn't stop and start, I would y'all would just see me shuffling around my house for like 20 minutes. And I don't really think you want to see that. So with that said, um, let's get into the first piece of art. And we're in my bathroom. And this is my first piece of art. I think I've showed this a few other times, but I just love it so much. Um, one of my... My mom's best friend was a tattoo artist. And um, this was painted by one of her um, tattoo artist friends, employees, something like that. Um, I forget what his name was. It was Jason something, but I can't remember. I wish I could because... Ugh, so beautiful. So there's that. And then oh, I want to show this to you guys too. I won this. Hold on. Let me see if I can just set it up here. So I won. I cleaned the mirror too. Yeah. <laughs> so I won this at Mike's um, oldest daughter. Uh, her, her baby shower. Um. They had a game, they played a game, if you brought diapers, then you got to enter your name in a drawing, and, um, or diapers or wipes, and we brought, bought two packs of diapers and a pack of wipes, so she had to put it in three times, and it was between me and two other people, so, like, out of five, three of them were our name, so we won this, um, yeah, it says this is us in the middle, and then it has, like, eight photo frames but I don't know where I'm going to put it yet I think I'm going to put it out in the um I'll show you all my picture wall uh it looks terrible right now because a few of the pictures have fallen down but you know shit happens so I think I'm going to put this up because where are a bunch of my frames broke so anyways um on to my bedroom hold on y'all okay actually I lied this is in my hallway back to my bedroom um I forget what kind of stone she is. I looked on the back, but it does not say. But I do know that my mom's best friend, Patty, um, her name's Patty, the Mistress of Pain, or um, Patty's Art Spot, is what her um, tattoo shop's called. Y'all should look her up. She's the one that did the flowers on my chest. But that was my mom's best friend. And uh, she did this. I don't know what kind of stone it's supposed to be. I keep wanting to say an agate angel. It's supposed to be an agate angel, but I know that it's something else. And she did this for my mom when my mom was in really poor health. And uh, she painted this for her for strength and healing and, and that kind of stuff. All right, now onto my bedroom. Okay, so this one's really hard to show because it's right beside my curtain. Um, so I'm having to hold up my curtain up here. Um, so this one, I love the eyes. 
it's so old it's got like a bunch of um because one time our hot water heater exploded back here and it got um back here all wet and you can see the spots where the um where the moisture was and I'm afraid to take it out of the thing to clean the glass because I'm afraid that the picture is stuck to the glass. And if I take it out, I'm afraid it'll rip. So, just got to deal with that. There's that one. And that one. Can you see it with the glare? Let me turn off this light and see if it's any better. Not really. still a glare. Now you can't really see it. Um, dang it, I'm trying to sh show you guys the best, the best way I can. Um, I guess there's just always going to be a glare on it. Um, but this is a picture also by the same girl. Her name was Hannah and she was my mom's best friend's niece and she was 16 years old and she did these and uh, a couple months after she did these she was in a car accident and passed away so these pictures mean a lot because there's something that she left behind you know um, man I wish that there wasn't such a glare on them um, they're so beautiful I love this little detail how the dots, and then every now and then she put a little heart instead of a dot. She was a pretty girl. That family has had so much tragedy. It's, it's awful here. Let me see if I can. I'm trying to get the, I don't know. If y'all can't see it, let me know. Um, and I'll take it off the wall and show you guys better. This is just little... <laughs> Klingons that I, um, Klingons, not like on Star Trek, but Klingons that I've found at the dollar store. They say inked, of course, because, you know, I'm just freaking awesome like that. <laughs> um, what else? Hold on, guys. Okay, I wanted to get this one set up so you guys could see it well. Um... My parents got this in the glass came there the plexiglass came out of it unfortunately that's why it was up because I'm afraid if I don't know I'm afraid something will happen to it so I don't put it on the wall because I don't want it to get dusty or anything because I can't do anything with it anymore so I just put it in between other things so that it doesn't get dusty or anything um, until I get some plexiglass for it but anyways so my parents got this done at the T Pittsburgh Tattoo Expo. Um, I think probably, my mom passed away in 2011, um, so probably 2008 or 2009, they got this done. And of course, as you can see, it's, it's them as zombies. And there's a guy that does this every year, and I've always wanted to get mine done, but I wasn't with them this year, of course. Well, my dad's big ass nose. And my mom's little troll nose, just like mine. I look just like my mother. Troll nose and all. Troll nose. Ew, my nails look gross. But anyway, so there's that one. And then there's my husband's uh, hat clip. That's not art, of course, but I put those up yesterday. Because he bought both of them and has, has never put them up. So, extreme gaming inside. And then I do not have time for stupid people. And he doesn't. He is the most sarcastic asshole you would ever meet in your life. <laughs> and... He, he got that at his cousin's wedding, and that came from Florida, and this is my mother and I when I was young, finding seashells, and she made this picture frame. I know some of this stuff isn't art, but it's still hanging on my walls, so I'm going to show it to you anyway, and then just, it was good at the beach, and then I wanted to show you this. This is my beautiful butterfly, and I think that this is our people that take the time to dry these and put them up and everything else. As long as they're not going and killing bugs just to get them for, you know, their sick pleasures. There's that side, or I don't know if I can hang it. No, I'm afraid to hang it on that side. I'll just show it to you out of the wall. And there's this side. 
Of course, I like the blue side better, but this side's just as beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that crazy how differently they look on each side? That's that's always been amazing to me. And I think it's when their wings are down, it's to attract a mate, but then when they put their wings up, it's to hide. And then, of course, these, th these parts look like big eyeballs, so it scares uh, predators off. All right, science class is over. Oh, man, I can't put it back up right now. I think I've showed you all my little stand stuff for my little Buddhas. I, I painted these, actually, with nail polish. So, I guess that's kind of like art. That's kind of like uh, lazy art, I guess. I love this one, though, the purple-blue iridescent looking. And then this, my little tiny seashells and crystals. And I don't think I brought this back to show in my owl video. But I don't, I think it cut off before I got to show this. This is my latest owl. I got him at the flea market for a dollar. And he needs cleaned up, but I couldn't pass him up for a dollar. He's so big and he's just beautiful. So anyways, there's that stuff. Um, I'll just swing around here and show y'all. Forever and always, no matter what. And then here's one of my dad's, finally. This is one of my dad's paintings. Let me flip this around on the side to show you a little bit closer. There's that. Hopefully this is working out the way that I'm wanting it to. We've got a lighthouse corner over here, so this went perfect with our lighthouses. We have a little lighthouse fountain and everything. We need to put water in it, but so there's that one. And then this is the agate angel that Patty did for my mother. She's the actual agate angel. That's why I kept wanting to say agate because she is agate. Um, I can't remember what the other one's supposed to be, but I know it's another, like, healing piece that kind of is supposed to bring a lot of different, um, healing properties. And then I also used to have the Arnold, an Arnold, uh, crest, and it was like, a like an, a knot, like a Celtic knot, and it was really cool looking. If I can find that, I'll put it that in another video, and let's go out to the living room. Maybe. Alrighty, here's the next stop. This is right above the couch in my living room. And my mom's best friend painted this for her when she passed away. This was like a memorial piece. And when we put this, it needs to be scooted up a little bit. See how it's falling in the frame? But when she put this in the frame, it wasn't even dry all the way yet. Um, autumn. Stop. Hold on. Alright y'all, so this is my picture wall. As you can see, there's a couple gaps where a couple of them fell off, like up at the top there. And down there, and that kind of stuff. So, anyways, that's where, I think that's where I'm going to put that one. I think I'm going to put that up there where that bare space is, or down at the bottom where the bare space is. Or maybe, like, put it in the middle and form everything else around it. Because it looks weird right now. It used to look really good because it was all full. But a couple of the things broke. And Autumn drew on the wall right there. I just noticed right beside that red sign on the left. That's Sharpie. Awesome. Anyways, so I'll show you guys what's in that curio cabinet someday if you want me to show you. And then this is the piece of resistance. Or however you say it. As I said, we have a painting that fits the whole wall. And this is it. It is on plywood, and it's plaster, and all kinds of stuff, and I find it beautiful. I see new things in it every day. I see a gorilla, that one black patch up at the top, it looks like a gorilla face, and then the, like the black and the yellow down at the bottom kind of reminds me of a rubber ducky. Um, yeah, so there's that one. I'm going to let you guys look at it for a minute because, I don't know, I just think it's enjoyable to look at. I find it very, um, not relaxing, but like, uh, what's the word? Aesthetic. 
just just find little things in it and it's nice to look at so anyways so look what happened y'all I accidentally left my storm window open this summer or through the winter last year and then I opened my window the other day because I usually don't open up this window because it's right behind the TV um, but I opened it up the other day and this is what I found all kinds of vines growing inside my window and I think honestly I think it's really cool looking so I think I'm gonna leave them there until the end of summer and then once they die because one of them is poison ivy the one going up through the middle is definitely poison ivy so once they die then I'll pull them down this winter and shut my freaking storm window <laughs> fucking dumb okay so then the last thing I gotta get close because my what marriage certificate is right underneath Oh, and so that big painting, um, somebody at the CAC, the um, Creative Arts Center, made a student, um, an art student, and same with this one, an art student did this. Um, I don't really have other, any information other than it, go to the potty then, then it was from the Creative Arts Center, and uh, it was left behind at the end of the school year, and uh, one of my neighbors works there. Hold on. Told y'all. Every time I film, she's either got to poop or fart or something. Or burp or something. But anyways, so yeah. Um, that's really all I know is that an art student did it. And that it was left behind at the end of the year. And I have a neighbor that works there as a janitor. And at the end of the year, if he finds, like, he finds a lot of pottery and that kind of stuff. And paintings and stuff. Um, and he always takes them when he finds them. Because, I guess... He just enjoys art. He's this really cool hippie dude. And then he always has a yard sale once a year. And uh, we usually pick up art from him because he sells it very cheap. And it's worth it because I think it's very beautiful. Um, and like I said, same with the beast. Um, he found it at the CAC. And uh, I'm guessing the reason why the person didn't take this one home is because it's obviously too big to... to take home for you know summer break so they just left it so anyways um i think i have showed you guys everything i lied this is the last two things um i almost forgot about them i took them down to show you guys because like i said my hallway is very dark um so this one i'm not uh so much a fan of this one this is not one of my favorites he does much better work than this usually. I'm not saying this one's bad at all because it's a million times better than what I could ever do. But see the B down in the right hand corner? He always That's how he always signs them. But I do love this one. This one's one of my favorites. The snowman. and They always make mention of how in Bob Ross's paintings there's barely ever a sign of human life like you know every now and then there'll be like a smoking chimney or something like that and I always have liked this picture because of the snowman down there and the decorations in the trees because it's obviously a sign of human life and that's not very uh, common in Bob Ross paintings so not that this is obviously not a Bob Ross painting but it's a recreation of a Bob Ross painting so I hope you all enjoy um, all my art. Oh, and this. Autumn wanted me to show this. Patience made this for me a couple years ago. And it's her art. This is, you know, it's her art. And tomorrow I'll tell you all about all where Patience is at right now. I'm not very happy, but whatever. I wasn't going to say no. I'm not going to keep her from her other side of the family, so... But I will tell y'all about that tomorrow when I'm actually, like, you know, more talking in a video. Or no, actually, maybe I'll just make a video later on this evening and tell you guys, give you guys a little update. Because tomorrow's video is going to be very serious and I'm not going to talk about myself in it because that's not at all what it's about. But yeah, so she made this Patience and Courtney. And then she put a bunch of stars and all that. I love that girl. She's such a sweetheart. Anyways, y'all, I hope that you are having a wonderful day, and I hope that you uh, got a little bit of appreciation out of this art. Um, I know that I do. 
Uh, I enjoy looking at it every day, and uh, one day I will most definitely get them all out of the shed and out of my closet and put them together and show you guys the rest of the uh, Bob Ross paintings. Alright, I love y'all so much, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.